Good morning. We're here in Naples, Florida looking at lush St. Augustine grass, even though it's early February. But what happens often is once we're transitioning from summer into fall, we have this disease called brown patch that can consume our lawns. Brown patch or Isoctonia disease is an odd duck in the fungus realm because it likes cooler temperatures. Around 74 degrees, you'll see the symptoms expressed in the lawn as thinning areas and dead grass. During the cooler weather in uh, fall and, and the winter, we see the St. Augustine grass blades will go a purplish reddish discoloration and that's usually due to a lack of phosphorus and potassium. It's a macronutrient deficiency. So that's not to worry about so much as when you start seeing a yellow halo around brownish areas. So you want to take a little closer look and find out what's going on. This could be rhizoctonia or brown patch or large patch disease. Okay, as the d disease, the pathogen progresses outward from the point of infection. You'll see the leaf blades turn various shades of purple, red, yellow. The yellow being more obvious as, as it moves outward. You'll see a yellow ring around the infected area. And then to sort it out from other possibilities, such as cold weather or herbicide or other, other diseases, you want to take a, a closer look at that stolen and look where the leaf blade joins the stolen and you'll see it's brown or black where it rots away. When chilly weather arrives in November, we start getting calls about brown spots in lawns. There are two things that could be going on. Brown patch disease or dead areas of crabgrass. To sort this out, look at the texture of the brown area. The crabgrass has a finer texture and has a more horizontal growth habit. You can clearly see the healthy, broader, upright blades of the St. Augustine grass. It's doing fine. The crabgrass, however, is less tolerant to our chilly weather. What to do about brown patch disease? You have to look at your cultural practices first. St. Augustine grass during the winter doesn't need much more than a half inch of water, be it from irrigation or rainfall, per week, half inch per week. The other issue is looking at your fertilizing. Are you over fertilizing? You should not use too much quick release fertilizer. That will make the disease worse. So you need to have 50 to 80 percent slow release nitrogen and you shouldn't be applying more than a pound of nitrogen per thousand square feet at any point in time. Brown patch is best controlled preventively. That means you get a fungicide down and minimize the impact of that disease. If you found it's got a foothold, you can reduce the amount of damage it will cause. These fungicides include propiconazole, thiophanate methyl, mycobutanil, and azoxystrobin or strobilarins. You'll need to repeat the fungicide applications about every two to three weeks. This is Doug Caldwell, University of Florida, Collier County Extension. We're here to help you beautify your landscape and protect the environment.